let's take the ancient camps. Thank you so much. By a dire ward and the battle begins. Like lanes are going to be going as you would expect. No, fully out of lane too fast. Yep, Blue Wing is still considered one of the better supports in general in lane. And Brute really needs that solid lane support because the Brute must. That's what he wants, or how about the mid lane? His game is completely open and free now. See, Gabby, perhaps it's a trouble of top. They've got the arrow and they're going to land it with a wow. nice First placement. SEC. Wow. Beautiful arrow. Up to. Yeah. Right, definitely the man to watch right now. Hasn't been doing any stacking, but he's happy he doesn't get caught on. Or if he does, they can turn it around. They do EMP mid, that's perhaps what they were waiting for. Whoa. They get the impale follow-up. The arrows. Oh, there we go. They get the kill. Wow. <laughs> Executing so well the past two days. Like, the lane is the only lane ENC can both uh, avoid spirit and the whole wing. The stacks will still be there two or three minutes from now. He doesn't have to, to farm them now. Yep, there's no, there's no threat of it getting stolen as well. Yeah. Rolling Thunder's top, FBZ tries to escape, but Armel was there with the pull. Another power rune, he had the haste rune, so farming, jungle stacks and everything. Yep. Top lane, FBZ could be in some trouble. Armel rotated up here, and then they have the bushwhack sharpshooter instantly killed. SQ could be next. This is an arcane rune void spray. He does lose it with the tornado dispel. Jumps forward out of the EMP. They could just be going for more here. They've got the sunray on Kesku's line. He's going down, and Makoto says, Get me out of here. He just keep his back face as ENC clear out this side to this Adi Slow plus Taylor's damage. And even, you know, I imagine a satanic at some point, too. Yeah. Pulls into the step, they get the bushwhack sharpshooter. That kill threat potential. Back Tough on their team, on their support. The, the call shouldn't die to the cataclysm. Radiance. Oh, they're going to find another catch. Dual scepter into the pool. Makoto's invoker could be in some trouble. The damage fall up is there. And with the supernova, Morana's blinking in, leaping in with the axe. They're going to bring down the supernova again. Makoto actually survived. He's going to turn through a tornado. Great turnaround coming in as Armel gets low. The voice for cutting it out of this one. He's slowed down by the battle hunger. The chase is on, and they get the dunk. Dream Cell able to show up just in time to help Makoto out, keep him alive, and that's the kind of fight that Boom were looking for. It wasn't one they started, but it turned... It is with the Viper as a posh tree. Just skill. This could be the big attack. team fight. Smoke up, Moonlight Dying Shadow in. Boom want to go on this one, but I, do TNT know? They're still lingering around. Dream Cell needs the vision. Armel goes for a smoke of his own. They go for the blink hole in, but they're not going to find the extra. But the Cataclysm uh, form is there. The Snowball coming on down as well. The Brute gets caught up in a tornado going through everyone. The Supernova coming out. Can they kill it? Hive wants to commit. Murana wants his egg. He's going to get it right before he dies. Perhaps saving this fight. And with the TB dead, this will be terrible. The TNC. The pieces. Armel looking to maybe salvage it. They get the dust from the Kodo. So TNC actually making this one turn out okay. They're going to lose one more. Though the void spirit being taken out by Dream of Cell's axe, and it's a three using his metamorphosis. This is so, first is so low, and spiderlings are going to scatter down. TNC may just be saying thank you, Boom, if they can win this fight or secure themselves. Roast the spiderlings need to be a little bit careful with those. The Penguin able to very easily clear them up. Arrows flying through vision. And Boom has that high ground board above the Rojan pit, which is going to help them out here. They get the tornado on the Brood. Rolling the Thunder on through. They want to take out the Brood first. Not sure it's a bit second. Rolling, he bounces, he catches on three. FBZ, has he got any fall up? It looks like he's on an island, though. So Rolling Thunder is now on cooldown, and this is a Roche fight without Rolling Thunder. Suddenly TNC's thinking, maybe we can go into the pit. Well, he's you friends. Have to <laughs> no one commit Oh! Oh, no! The arrow! It caught him mid-dive! Blink hole coming on him! Oh, and with the man, he's going down, he doesn't get saved! He couldn't get the Sunder off! Now the Bruce is forced to run to the high ground! And it's TNT! Who lose three, Armo goes down to the finger of death! Not really headed towards where Boom is on the map. Doesn't oh, the Corio. Like some, <laughs> some curious to kill, but... No, they're gonna run in, they fight Keskyu! Armel gets the solo kill initiation. The now the rest of the team smoked up may be able to find a way to jump in. Armel is just going in head first. They called but Armel could be in some trouble. He may have been in. It's a four stop. He thought this is a sun strike. The four stop saves his life. Dream of Cell has to wait for another call. Now with the sun ray coming out 
from the Phoenix Suit Sun. Can they bring it down in time? Heidi dies! He doesn't get it! Big PBTB! It saved the egg! Big PB! He did get the BKB off, but he's still doing okay. He's still got the double damage. He's just wrecking through them. He's trying to get that PBTC who's just rolling thunder to get the hell out of there. Gets the can't see the, the low ground. The, the skin, yeah. the cosmetic, they can't see it. They don't know that it's DD. Look! He's so Sun blue! Strike. Fishing, not gonna find it. And it looks like they are gonna try and hunt down and chase down Makoto, who does go into the Ghost Walk to get the hell out of there. And yeah, like you said, they couldn't even tell he was done. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. We got Roach number two. Cheese and Aghanim shard. Roaching toss around the vision. Blink call on three. Cataclysm follow up. They delete. Voicebird and Phoenix instantly dead. Aeon, this was still on cooldown. And that is. Really good, really good vision surrounding the Roach Hitler. 25. All the items in the world. It's just. It feels like they can deal with the TV because of how many farm cores they have. The perhaps take over this giant triangle. That's where they're trying to farm the GNC side. Dream itself links in with the call. Catches the Gabby TV, the Cataclysm follow up. It's not going to do enough damage to initially get the kill here. Boys currently on the side. Boys to run away. TV's just running forward. Gabby can't find a target in his metamorphosis. I have BKP. Needs to be careful, gets up, getting trying to get away, but the right clip's coming up from the TV. They're gonna chase oh. him down with the Daedalus screen. he still dies. Even with the leaps away, that's not gonna disjoint those attacks, so. Good set up TNC for a better fight, but it's not like they have a supernova anyways to keep TNC inside. Armel has made his way out towards the Dyer's bottom lane, but it's like he's gonna be forced back to defend Radiant very soon. That thought it could down for another 30 seconds. You can see Alacrity on the, the Kanko of all heroes. What is Aeon this prop? That's unintentional, so he's going to be a little bit careful. He gets pulled back in. He does have the Aegis to play around though, so he should still be okay. Aragorn's flying through, not going to catch anyone. And then he's getting lower and lower with the Sunray damage. Not what enough to kill I him do? off, and with the roll up, MPZ. Stop alive, has a Salve to help him regen back up as well. They're just looking to chip away at this melee rack. Slow yes, and another... steady. 15 seconds on Aegis, 15 seconds, insane amount of damage. We may just humor them, they smoke up, they're looking for that jump, they need to make sure they get that initial kill. Tims gets caught by the play, call so does the Brood! And then the two heroes, Earth like to follow it up. Brood in all sorts of trouble, gets taken as well, Brood still on, barely alive, but will end up going down. They're gonna double buy back, the rolling thunder coming in from FBZ. Armel, he's stuck on a cliff, has got natural second, he wants to get down to the low ground. Aeon just is propped at Gabby, trying to just burst down this FBZ. Tango and will be successful, so the chase is on, they want more. Lion or Piranha Axe Here we go, GNC. Howling over this cliff, trying to keep the vision. Gabby blinks in with the BKB metamorphosis. He gets a bit of Dota 2 lag, unfortunately, coming out, but no Evoker for now. Does have a buyback if he wants to commit it. He's going to use it. Throws up the Cataclysm. The force oh. up, he gets the egg up. Oh! But just to save his life, it's not going to actually lead to any kind of a team fight. At this point, story of this one. <laughs> See how it goes when Blink Hulk catches on Bell. He's got the A on this, so that's going to keep him alive. The buyback coming in from the Phoenix. Dissimilate to get out of there. Oh, he has a refresher on the Blink Hulk. Refresher, TV. TV. He's got another meta. That's going to completely catch him by surprise for the arrow. It comes in. It catches on Bell. He needs a save. He gets his defensive yields. He's still going to cheese as well to play around. And the Rolling Thunder coming to an end. As boom, forced to completely disengage. Rush. Great refresher pickup. Gabby is finding the item they needed for the perfect moment here. The arrow is going to hit Roshan and they're going to secure themselves an Aegis. Armel picking that one up. Oh, see. Boom, Fnatic, SMG, Motivate Trust, all fighting over just one slot at mid lane. FBZ gets jumped with the Hex, has the Aeon just to turn this one around. Gabby going to now look to focus on FBZ. Not enough damage coming out from him as the Rolling Thunder doing a good job to lock him down with the Glim near as well and snaring them. No kills just yet. Hyde's being chased down as well. Cataclysm coming in, doing good damage here, but it's not enough. TNC still healthy yeah. through this one. The kill is going to be on the Pango, who does not buyback. Does he want to commit it? For now, he's holding on to a dive on forward from the Phoenix right away. Throwing out scans, trying to get an idea of where the others are. Mox oh. is aggressively. Okay, Carmel goes down, instantly buys back. They're looking for more on the back line. FBZ, he's found Tims. Tims in some trouble. He tries to pull stuff away, but that's the hoodwink down. That's a lot of the save. Mox on the brutes. As his Aeon this pop, he's trying to chase down Makoto, but he doesn't really have the tools to do so. Not on his own, anyways, as TNC commit multiple buybacks. Both teams disengage for now. 
on. Armel coming back into the fight without a buyback and without a care. He catches on hide the glitch hole on the X. He's trying to turn this one around. He catches up Falk with it. Falk getting low on the brute, but he gets shielded up the G's. He keeps himself alive with it. Mirana who dies, buying back instantly. Gabby. Still alive. Who's got room for it? Who's just waiting on the high ground? Finally scouting them out. Though Armel jumps into Keskut. Keskut's got the A on this. Can he get any of his Has a finger of death if he can turn to use it. The four suns keeping him alive. The roll of thunder. Gabby, he's okay for now. He gets sunned up. There's the cataclysm. Gabby gets all he needs to sun the target. Where's the target? He needs to pump his satanic sunder. Anything. He's still okay for now. Gets the satanic off. He's healing back up. The axe getting very, very low. Can dream himself survive through this. Gets another call off. He's trying to turn and fight. He gets hexed up now and he can't. Sustain himself for much longer. Gabby finds the thunder on the booby. He keeps the he, he gets back to go. He's still going to die. And with the, the meteor, he goes down. TP by back. Dakota with the BKB in the front line. Trying to right click him down. Voice for some fun. Have buyback. Can't afford to die. The Aeon is going to wear off. And now RML. Astral step. He gets out. Hale, oh, we're gonna catch TNT also in that buyback. If Armel can survive, that's huge. And with the Mirana and Denim with all the buybacks, TNT actually have five alive still. TV's buyback, allowing them to turn this and dream itself. Goes for a BKB TP out, cancels it. Sorry, BKB looking to run away. Both teams did. <laughs> Eight buybacks have been used. Great job, Scarier, right? Jump in top. Gabby, oh, he's, he's absolutely massive. <laughs> this is one demon you do not want to F with. Oh, it's huge. Oh my God, so scary. Oh boy, a thing of nightmares. And if whoever loses this game is going to be having some nightmares about playing a 65 minute game. He, he looks like the go. Dragon Knight version. Wait, call. They go into the TP. Is there a cataclysm to follow this one up? They get the somewhere. They're trying to heal him. Gabby gets pulled into the egg. They need to kill this egg. Can they get it? Where's the Mirana? They get it low. And they get both. No buyback. No. It's a disaster. TNC is going to find a way to cut their losses here. But they've lost three. Make it four. They're the ones going for the high ground. Holy moly.
that. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. They get the scan, they know roughly where they are, and they're gonna get the Dyer's perfect wrap around here. Is under attack. See Falconer and Mel actually not going for the initial kill. The hooks are gonna come out and just the Kunker, the push back, the ravage fall up, they blow up oh. the Kunker. You making sure there's no save. FBZ. Not leaving anything to chance, not letting a potential false promise. Dyer's Leave the Kunker there. And now that puts the juice on the high ground. There is a buyback though. Kunker's gonna go for it. With the like initiation, they go in on Dreamer Cell with the TB damage. It's just gonna be enough. The four stuff's coming into play. And Medusa gets the stone gaze out and it's just gonna turn. Look to bring down Falk. He uses himself and is himself up. That's gonna buy a little bit of time here. The egg on the back line though. That's doing all kinds of work. As FBBD just blinks in, tries to do what he can to the execute actually manages to bring down the clockwork. Hit to the front line, just jumping forward. The code getting very low on the lead, but still surviving through it all. As Falk healed up, he's got the exit, he's running in, TNC, they're doing it. This fight going their way with the Medusa dead in the tide, they're chasing the leader, that's all three cores dead. Ultra kill for Falk, this exorcism, BP. It's so important because they just don't die in this, like, the, 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 in the stone gaze. Like, if they don't die in this spells, I've said it, read the draft, like, it's this early on. A triangle? Oh, I'm not trying. I'm gonna come in and contest this one. Even in the 4v5, Green Missile goes running in. Exes from Falk. He gets stoned up immediately. Green Missile. Just still with the disengage. He gets pulled back in by the Exes. Losing his mana fast. Has to force half away. Does not want to hold his ground and fight into the TP. The TP blinking forward. There's the Blink Ravage with the Yule Scepter. Made the stun miss on Cavi. I don't think they've got the damage to deal with them anyway. It's gonna be the Supernova stunning them up. Lean on the back one, taking so much damage. Go on the Sliver of Hulk. get the hell out of there. And Medusa needs to be careful. Needs to find an escape. But with the Xbox gets pulled back in. Gets brought down. No buyback on Deuce and T and C. After the Phoenix, they were cut off at the side on the right. And they were not able to help the Medusa and the big spell. So it's going in, gets a nice tuner, Earth might be able to detecting the aggression here as the finger is going to come out. Takes up Kensuke, now Makoto, he's in all sorts of trouble, he defensively yules himself, the heal's coming into play with the BKB, Makoto is going to survive his way through this one, but now TP can just focus the throw. Look to get the GD here. Nice tuner and pale. Nabi ignoring the throw for now, going for the kills, gets the tide, it's GG. Game 3, here we come. Eri bon PP. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
changes. Exorcism has the damage to take out Kez Cute. Line with a buyback here does commit it instantly. It's, it's also the Phoenix in trouble in the trees. Here comes NPC. Place in the second set. He now coming into play. They need to kill some of these heroes who don't have buyback. The jog on the front line doesn't have mana anymore. Doesn't have the spin. Could be in some trouble, but it looks like it's not going down the right wall. Razor getting chased by Makoto. One more right click. It's not enough. The armor is enough. The X match enough. Keeping him alive. Oh, this will happen. Where TNC managed to initiate on FBZ. Because I, I know this Santa is going to die so quickly and it matters so much in the fight. He's going for the back door play. He, he, there's the clip. Can he get out though? BKB TP, but here's the spectre. But here we go, top lane, Tim. Playing on the high ground. It's that Nyx assassin. He gets hexed up and gone on, but he got a nice carapace off. But Dreamer Cell is still going to be able to finish him off with the Omni Slash though. Mom pulled out the play around it. Here comes Mom, Pops are a fresher exorcism. But the BKB goes charging for They want the feet, but he gets the egg off and immediately gets deleted. Nice impales coming out from the, from the side of TNT. Looking for more here, but that's going to force a stampede just to disengage. Meanwhile, TA in the dire base. Can you get the Mega Creep shift down? Boomy and Ted Dakota with a BKB TP out. This man cannot be stopped. Now the Horn coming into play as well. Kez Q. Get picked off in the top lane. Mikoto? Mikoto? Oh. Oh. Mesh? Uh -oh. Mesh? He's got the Megas, but he'll pay the price with his life. He has got buyback, but... Defend. Yeah, they can't defend. They need to go for the base race now. Have a trap for this. No creeps. They need creeps in the enemy base, and they just don't have that. So I'm not sure it's even an option. They're going to have to defend these Radiant tier 4s. They pop the glyph. Trying to deal with some of these Necrobooks and hit all these heroes, but Josh just jumping on in, throwing out the Swift Slash. We want to cap with the Blade Fury as well, but he's going to be so back here. Abyssal Blade stuns him up, followed by Nyx. The four stuff's going to keep alive for a little bit longer here, but Fox in the front line doing a lot of damage. Keeping up that extra, but he used that refresher shot to make the play on the tier yeah, 4 house. Take him the throne. DNC, they're ignoring the heroes that go to the throne. Gabby with an Aegis in the Rapier, he's hitting the build. He is going to die once, going to kill him a second time. They've lost Staffire, they're focusing the buildings here. Armel, once again, hitting the throne, he's getting low, it's going to go down. GG.